In this video, I just want to share my tips how you can easily or uh, much easier to assemble uh, can assemble this printer. This printer have little bit strange uh, instructions, little bit misleading. So I try to help with that. If this is uh, you first 3D printer, I not really recommend. You must have some knowledges, uh, 3D printing knowledges. If you own a 3D printer before, this printer definitely it's for you. So I can call it Maziak printer. I buy it from Gearbest. I think I paid uh, 310 uh, dollars, about 270 euros, with shipping and no taxes because they ship from uh, Germany. If you live in Europe, that it's really, really amazing price. This manual have very misleading uh, wiring info, especially for 3D printing beginners. So I show you. Here you connect uh, filament cooling. Here, here you connect uh, G hat cooling. So it's always uh, on. And you see motors, if we take uh, motor X, it's a red, see? So that means limit switch for the X motor, also in the red, and so on. If we take, uh, for example, uh, Zeta motor, it's a green, so that means your limit switch you connect to the green color. Here it's a limit switches. Here you connect uh, filament sensor and uh, some people complaining, so it doesn't work. Yes, it works if you connect in this connection. Not in first one, in second one. That's it, guys. That I think uh, helps you a lot. And now we back to construction. Some tips when you assemble this uh, printer. It's absolutely first print, and like I see, it's uh, wow, really really nice. When you put this piece, I mean printer top, don't tight those screws. What you do, you attach this uh, lead screw, Z screw, make little gap here or a space, screw also, and can turn. This screw cannot reach motor, it must be space. Tight those screws now, lift your bed up, and just now you must tight those screws. All these screws. That uh, eliminates force between those two axes. And now your bed moves nice and easy. When you connect belts, you connect your belts like this. I made my belt through these small holes. I connect it uh, like this and it's teeth with teeth. That prevents your belt from slipping. And like you see, now my G head cannot reach this wheel, it's a space and this piece of belt don't go to my printer wheels. That means that sensor now can reach 
point very easily and it works with no problem at all so if you connect belt like this you don't have any problems with this sensor don't throw away uh, those uh, plastic strips like you see I hide my motor cables and now I get very clean and nice this inch here I have uh, extruder cable Zeta switch cable and of course this switch cable also and a filament cable so very useful like you see my uh, filament sensor I left like this and it works just super very quiet printer very nice and clean this inch before you assemble begin to assemble printer don't forget uh, multi sensor I forget <laughs> so I remove it this top so you can do directly more videos coming soon I uh, printed my calibration cup with a little uh, castle inside and I getting really really good result wow amazing it's a first print and such a clean nice no ghosting or it's just micro micro ghosting maybe I a little over tight my belts that's why and now my printer very quiet and smells like uh, I <laughs> baking some bread or something because like I told before I added some uh, kitchen oil inside my tube That's my filament can squeeze very easily this angle it's not so easy to print but it's no problem actually I think because it's two filament cooling fans that's why I get such a good result that's it guys more videos coming soon Enjoy and uh, bye bye.